Hey man, it's Kirk here. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever had a time where you needed to be somewhere by a certain time and your car broke down on you? Uh, I've had that happen a few times and I can remember the feeling of just anxiety and the feeling of just the temperature rising as I tried to figure out how am I gonna deal with my car breaking down and getting all the things done that I need to get done. Uh, cars break down all the time. Cars are broken from the time you pull it off a parking lot. The car is not what it was originally created and designed to be. And that is just like you and I. We may live our lives and we might be able to go along life in a certain level of looking like we have it all together, but we are broken. None of us are what we were meant to be. And that shows itself in different moments where suddenly our car might start to break down or our bodies, our minds, our hearts might start to break down. It manifests itself in our relationships and, and our emotions and how we respond. It shows itself up in our health in so many different aspects of our life where we live in a reality of being broken as men. But it's not just us, it's all of creation, isn't it? You don't have to go too far to realize that everything around you is broken. Turn on the news today and look at the realities that our world is facing and you can see quite easily just how broken things are in the world today. Uh, the Bible actually talks about this. It gives us a picture of this reality in Romans chapter eight. Uh, in the beginning of verse 20 says the creation was subjected to futility that all of creation is in this place of futility of not being what it was always meant to be verse 21 it says the creation itself will be set free from its bondage that all of creation lives in a place of bondage to decay in verse 22 it says we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now that all of us as people, uh, whether you're a Christian or not a Christian, all of us as people have a shared human experience of groaning that things are not the way that they were supposed to be. Creation groans and says, this is not the way things were supposed to be. We live as broken people in a broken world. Uh, you may have heard that phrase before in church, brokenness, but sometimes we haven't really stopped to think about it and its implications on our lives. So what does that mean, brokenness? We're going to dive into this whole conversation in our devotionals this week. And maybe the bigger question isn't just what does brokenness mean? The bigger question is, where is the hope? Is there any hope in the midst of our brokenness, in the midst of our pain and our suffering? Uh, can we find something to hold on to and, and cling to in these difficult times that we find ourselves in when we recognize our brokenness as people, as men? Well, we're going to point to that hope this week. And so I hope that you'll journey with us on these devotionals, that you'll share them with some other men who could use some perspective in life as well as some encouragement where they can find hope. God bless you. I hope you have a great week as we dive into his word together.